Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is my 2023 project pan introduction video. So I am gonna be doing a project pan again this year. I've been doing a project pan for the past couple of years and documenting it here on my channel. So my 2023 project pan is gonna be fairly similar to last year's project pan. So it's gonna consist of 10 items, it's gonna be makeup. I did sort of say in my 2022 project pan finale video that if I get to the point where I'm not really sure what new makeup items to roll in, I might roll in like a bit of skincare or a bit of hair care or something. But I don't really see that happening for a few months. So it will be mostly makeup items. Today's video will be makeup items. So there'll be 10 of them. Once I use a product up, I will roll something in. But what I have decided to kind of change this year is to not solely focus on makeup items that I dislike and makeup that I really want to use up. I'm gonna do a bit of that, but I'm also gonna pan items that I really like and I'm gonna switch up a lot of the products as well. So when I talk through the items, I have some makeup that is gonna stay in my project pan month on month, and then there are gonna be some items that are gonna change every month as well. So out of the 10 items, there are six makeup products that are gonna stay in my project pan, and I think they're probably gonna stay in my project pan until I've used them up in their entirety. If I start to get bored of them, I will rotate them out and then bring something new in. And then the remaining four products are gonna be switched up on a monthly basis. And there are gonna be two products as well out of those 10 that are rollovers from last year's project pan. So let's get started with the items that are gonna stay in my project pan until I've used them up. The first item is a rollover from last year. It is my NYX eyeshadow base, it's my eyeshadow primer. This was in my project pan all of last year and I still haven't finished it up. It is getting very, very close to being used up though. It was a bit of a struggle to get much product out this morning when I did my makeup. So I'm hoping to be done with this one by the end of this month. But knowing this product, I am not, you know, Placing any bets on that, it might still be in my project, fan, project pan for a good a couple of months to come, but this is gonna stay in my project pan until I have used it up because I do have another primer that I want to work on using. It's a MAC paint pot and that is just sitting there whilst I'm working on this. So this is the first item. This is gonna stay in until I've used it up. As is the next item, which is another rollover from last year. It is a bronzer by Fenty. This is the powder bronzer and it's in the shade Shady Biz. Not yet hit pan on it, but I can see a ring. I've got a good dip going on. So I'm hoping to have a pan in this by the end of this month. That would be really exciting. And this is gonna stay in my project pan until I've used it up because I have a Vive bronzing duo that I want to start working on after this and I'm aware that this is coming up to being a couple of years old and it does have a 12 month shelf life so I want to get this one used up soon. It is fine though, it doesn't feel or smell or seem like it's going off so it is still fine to use but I do prefer my Vive bronzing duo so this is the second item. Next item is a mini from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've got this in the shade Too Fair and I'm putting this in my project pan because I don't really get the hype with this product. I don't particularly like nor dislike it. I'm very meh on this product. I feel like it doesn't add too much to my makeup routine. So this is gonna stay in until I've used it up. And I tend to kind of switch up how I use this. I would use it all over my face like a brightening primer. I would also mix this in with either foundation or concealer and again apply it all over my face or I would use it as a liquid highlighter on my cheekbones. But I did today actually see a post on Instagram from, I can't remember her name, I think I wanna say Elizabeth Goss. She's an Australian makeup artist and she mixes this in with some of the Rare Beauty liquid blusher to tone down the intensity of that. So I wanna try that with this. So that'll be another way that I can start to use this product up. So this, again, is gonna stay in my project pan until I've used it up. It does seem to have quite a decent amount of product still in it. Like this is only maybe two or three months old, so this will be in my project pan, I'm reckoning for maybe about six months, because I have heard that the mini takes a long time to use up, so this one will probably stick around for quite some time. Now I've got another liquid highlighter in my project pan. This is by Rare Beauty and this is a mini as well and it's in the shade Mesmerize and it's two and a half mils. And I can start to see already like little, I suppose gaps <laughs> in the tube where there's not that much product filling this now. So I'm hoping 
that this one is one that I can use up this year. Now it is a mini but these Rare Beauty minis do last a really long time but I think it's the blushes that last a lot longer than the highlighters because with the blushes you apply like a dot whereas with this I can apply a few on my cheekbone and kind of get away with it. And I'm including this one in my project pan because I'm not a massive highlighter fan, it's not one of my favourite makeup products to wear and the shade is wrong for me. This is a cool toned icy pink. I prefer warmer tones and I'm really not enjoying my makeup today. This is a full face of like shot moustache and it's far too pink and far too purple for me. I'm not really liking it so not particularly enjoying today's makeup, sorry. And I do have some of this on today, I've got some of this on my cheekbones. So although I have like two liquid highlighters in my project pan I am going to use them in different ways so the Charlotte Tilbury one I can use all over my face I can mix it in with foundations and concealers this one I can just use as a liquid highlighter and they are different shades as well the Charlotte Tilbury one is more of a warm champagne shade and this one is cooler so I'm hoping that I can still get through both of them a decent amount an equal number of times and that my progress on one isn't going to be you know hindered by the other and then last two items that are going to stay in my project pan are both eyebrow products. First up is Benefit Gimme Brow, nope, 24 hour brow setter, I always get the two confused. Benefit 24 hour brow setter, the clear one. And this is a mini, it's three and a half mils, so it's not particularly big at all. I have recently, or last year rather, used up the full size of this, so it can be done. So hoping to be done with this one in like the first six months of the year, perhaps. I'm panning this one because I prefer to use a tinted brow gel rather than a pencil and a clear brow gel, which is what I've done today. So once I've used this up and the next product, I am hoping to then get a tinted brow gel and use that instead. So this one I've been using on and off for three, four months perhaps, but I've not been that consistent with doing my eyebrows as part of my makeup routine. But now that this is in my project pan, I'm gonna be using this every time I wear makeup. So hoping to get through this a bit more quickly. And then the sixth item that's gonna stay in my project pan. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I've used this product before. I've panned one of these products before. And from memory, I don't think it took me that long. I think it probably only took me like two to three months. So hoping to be done with this one by the end of March in the first quarter of the year, that one would be really good. And then I do have a brow pencil from, oh, Kiko. And that one I actually prefer to this one. I prefer the colour, I prefer how it applies. But saying that, this is still a really good brow pencil. I do really like it. And it is what I have on today. And with my brows, I tend to just fill in these little bits here rather than the rest of my brow. With this one though, I'm not gonna mark my progress with, with it. And it's because it's a really thin pencil. It's a wind up one. And I don't wanna wind it up all the way to the end, mark my measurement, and then for it to break. So I'm not gonna visually mark my, pro my progress on this, but I am gonna tally every single time that I wear my project pan items. So the items that are staying in my project pan then are both eye products and some base products. So let's now go through the four items that I'm gonna be switching up on a monthly basis. So I've got four foundations in total. I've got a powder one that's in my shop moustache and then I've got three liquid ones. And the three liquid ones are all fairly new into my collection and I love all of them. And I don't really want any one of them to get neglected or to get unused whilst I'm using another one. So what I've decided to do is each month include a different liquid foundation into my project pan and see how much progress I can make on it. And the first one I've decided to use is the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat foundation. I've got this in the shade B20, it's the one I've got on today. Good shade match for me and I've used this foundation before and I've really enjoyed it. I do really like it, I think it's a lovely foundation, but I do prefer Giorgio Armani Luna Silk and NARS Sheer Glow. Now this is 25mm, so it's 5mm less than your standard 30mm foundation. So because of that, I'm assuming this one I'll probably end up getting through that bit quicker than my other two foundations. And I've taken a picture of this one to see if I can track my progress at the start of the month compared to the end of the month, but not really aiming to see a huge amount of progress because I'm only really using this for a month. Once it then comes into my project pan for a second and a third time, that's probably when I'm gonna to start to see more progress on it. But this is gonna be my foundation for the month of January and then next month I will roll this out and roll in a new foundation to work on. 
And I'm going to do the same thing with concealers as well. So I have three concealers, two of them are fairly new into my collection. And then this one is my oldest one. I think it's probably out of date because it does have a 12 month shelf life. I didn't buy this last year. I think I bought it the year before or maybe the year before that. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Porcelain. It's the concealer I've got on today. However, it is definitely not porcelain. It is far too dark to be called a porcelain concealer. So I've got it underneath my eyes and it has helped conceal my dark circles, but it hasn't provided any brightening effect. So this is more of like my face match. If I wanted a bit of a brightening effect under my eyes, I'd go for a lighter one. But you would think porcelain, that would be the lightest shade that a brand would offer. Now I'm filming this on the second, so I've only really used this for two days, but so far it's a really nice concealer. It provides a really good amount of coverage, blends out really beautifully as well. It's a really nice concealer to use. I like the fact that it's a big doe foot as well, so you can apply this all over your face like a foundation. And that's probably what I will do at some point this month as well. Now in terms of size, this is a 15mm concealer, so it is a big concealer, it's about half the size of your standard foundation, double the size of a standard concealer, so it is a big one and it is going to take a long time to use up, so I don't want to get fed up of this concealer, I don't want to be keeping it in my project pan all year and thinking, oh my god, it's not used up yet. So again, I'm going to roll this one out at the end of this month and roll in a new one to work on because I don't want my two new concealers to sit on my dressing table get in unused. And again I'm going to do the same thing with the next product. This is one I'm only going to keep in my project pan for a month and then roll out. This is a blusher by Vive and it's in the shade Sorbet. It's the shade I've got on today on my cheeks. Now after having my colours done I'm not really sure if this is the right kind of colour for me. Not sure if that kind of gives away what colour season I am. But I don't think this shade and the rest of today's makeup are my colour season. So not really sure what I'm going to do with this one. I think I'll just have to wait and see how this month goes. Whether if I wear different colour eye makeup, lip makeup, this blusher might look a little bit better. So we will see at the end of the month what my opinion on this one is. I might declutter this one, pass it on to my boyfriend's sister because I think her colouring would suit this one a lot better than, than my colouring will. But it's a very nice blusher to use. The V blushes are, are beautiful. They're very easy to, to build up pigmentation, blend out beautifully. The powder formulations that Vive use are just so buttery and really easy to use. So a lovely blush up, but I'm just not convinced on the shade. But regardless of my opinion of this blusher, by the end of the month it will be rolled out and then I'll roll a new one in so all of my blushes can get, again, an equal share of love. And then the tenth and final product is a product I'm trialling as a cream bronzer. I don't have it on today. I've tried it a few times and it doesn't quite seem to work it goes a little bit muddy so I'm gonna keep trying to use it as a bronzer this month see if I can get it to work I'll also try it as a lip color as well because I'm not that keen on it on my lips it's another V product and it's a lipstick in the shade coming in hope and I picked this one up because this is a recommendation for warm skin tones and I don't think it's got enough depth behind it to work as a lipstick colour for me however it then goes a bit rusty and a bit too dark as a bronzer so a bit of a weird shade and I also don't like the formulation of Eve lipsticks I've got one on today this is Cherub's Kiss I think and they're really really drying I had to take it off put some lip balm on and then put the lipstick back on again so I'm not a fan of the lipsticks and this is another one that I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it by the end of the month. I think if it doesn't work as a bronzer, doesn't work as a lipstick, then I don't really have any other choice but to declutter it because I can't get it to work. But for now, I'm going to keep trialling it as a lipstick, keep trialling it as a cream bronzer and see how it goes. So those are my items in my project pan. So I'm mixing things up a little bit this year. I'm having items that are going to stay and then items that I'm going to regularly roll out and roll new stuff in. So I'm hoping that way I can see some really great progress on the items that are staying in my project pan. But I can also start to see progress as well on things that I'm rolling in and out. And then because my collection isn't that big, so for example my foundation category, in three months time I'm going to roll that same foundation in again. So I'm hoping nothing's going to get neglected, nothing's going to get unused. I'm going to be able to use all of my makeup on a very regular basis 
also coupled up with my shot by stash as well and then i do have that pan in every eyeshadow palette going on on my channel this year as well so i hope you found this video interesting if you've got a project pan going on this year please let me know how you set yours up as well are you doing a similar thing to me do you have more numbers are you doing like a category only project pan please let me know how yours is set up and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you very soon for my next video bye guys